Welcome friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and as a part of series of my videos related to HVAC good installation practices where I have already covered ducting, piping and air handling units. This is the fourth video which I am coming up. This is related to installation of chillers. Before I move ahead, I request you to subscribe my channel and spread it among yourself. Give your valuable comments which will help me to improve my videos in future. So let us look at this topic now. So this is the series which has started and the topic of this video is installation of chillers and we at the background you can see some of the installations or shifting of chillers which is happening. Let us look at chillers in two contexts air cooled and water cooled because both will have little bit difference in how, how do we go for installations. You must have seen these are air cooled chillers my friends and this is a, a simple schematic of air cooled chillers which is a you can say a package air cooled chiller package which is we have got air handling units here the cold water is you know sent to the air handling units here the return water again goes to chillers and the cycle continues the condensed condenser is air cooled hence the heat transfer happens to the air and that's why it is called air cooled chillers uh, from the air two sides i think you are aware of it the cold air goes to this, the area which is to be air conditioned the return air comes back and with the additional some amount of pressure this is again recirculated inside the area. So air cooled chillers with the name it happens like a you know heat transfer from a hot tea cup to the atmosphere. If, if you keep the cup of tea for a certain amount of time tea gets cold because heat transfer happens from the hot to low temperature zones and this is on that principle only the heat transfer the, the refrigerant which is at high temperature the heat is transferred to the air with the help of the fans which are mounted on top of the air cooled chillers so they circulate the air over the coils and our refrigerant gets cooled way air cooled chillers works most of these installations happens on terrace as are you now shown on this top of the building uh, this is another photograph which shows the chillers are on top of the buildings chillers are also kept in open condition because of the heat transfer as i said heat transfer happens to the air from the refrigerant so there has to be proper amount of air available so that heat transfer happens smoothly right so this is an important aspect and another important aspect when it comes to the installation of the chiller is we generally mount them on a foundation or when you put it on top of the buildings we can create a structure on that structure the chillers are installed and it is important to ensure the structures are leveled properly and so that the units are leveled properly otherwise we will have such issues so if you have flooring or foundations like that, then your chillers can go in no problem. So the levels of the units have to be ensured and we should also ensure the proper dimension of the chillers with respect to the foundation which is getting created or a structural work which is getting created. Most of the time what happens, we do not take super, supervise the work which is happening in terms of foundation. Generally it is done by the civil contractors and when the chiller comes, there is a mismatch of communication and they don't go on foundation properly and we lose a lot of time. So it's very important to know this. When it comes to air cooled chillers, it will have noise. And if there is sensitive things which is near to the chillers, it is, it is important to uh, create a barrier so that the noise can be reduced. It cannot be eliminated, but it can be reduced. The third thing which is very important is the vibration coming off of the chillers because a lot of rotating elements are here. The fans, the compressors, the vibration can come down to your structure and that's why this vibration isolators play an important role. This can reduce or dampen some amount of vibration. Also, when it comes to the installation, this is the stimulation which shows you we should maintain a proper space for heat transfer. And when we have multiple chillers, we should maintain a proper distance between two chillers. Otherwise, what will happen? You can see if the chillers are near to the buildings, there is no space. You can find a hot zone here. You can find a hot zone little less because the chiller is shifted from 5 feet to 10 feet from 5 feet to 10 feet and it becomes little lower when it comes to 15 feet so we have to have proper distance from the wall from the building wall when it comes to the multiple chillers we can see if we have a six feet difference between these two chillers what kind of red zone it is and it goes on reducing when we see the chiller distances more right this is one of the photographs which i took this is very very congested installation where, where, where there is very less amount of 
space for heat transfer as well as for the maintenance of the chillers. Chillers, we should look at proper point loading because these chillers will have different point loading at different points. If it is a six point uh, chillers, it will have different loads at different point. And that's why the isolators also will be different because they, they are based on the load and deflection. So we should look at the right isolator goes at right point and it cannot be given to the the workman we have to supervise it make sure that right isolator goes below right point we cannot install the chillers if there's a sensitive area below that chiller otherwise it will have issues of vibrations and noise uh, we also as i said have to look at how do we check the foundation before the installation of the chillers another element is says when it comes to the connection of the chillers the seismic snubber is another added element which can be added to the chillers when it comes to off you know earthquake kind of thing the chillers don't topple we also have to have when we connect the pipes to the chillers or vibration bellows the flexible bellows what we call and this has to be properly installed as it is shown over here we now we can always use the groove fittings and other elements we should also have an electrical panel panel considering the ease of operation during the rains so the when the panel gets open, the rain should not get inside. So those are some of the things which we need to look at at the side. These are the grout fittings which can be used for chiller connections. Now when it comes to installation of air cooled chillers, we use generally the cranes to install it. And some of the news which I heard of a couple of instances where the, the crane got toppled because the crane was not selected properly. So there are crane charts which are available which are there in front of your screen which will tell you what is the load this screen can take at particular angle from the distance and at particular height we should select that crane properly otherwise you will have loss of property as well as loss of you know life because if it falls from top somebody can be below it and he can get injured so this loading of charge is, is important when it comes to the lifting of the chillers let us go to water good chillers see the picture in front of you some of the installations here, one of the important part which I want to see is we have to have proper layout considering the enough space for maintenance. When it comes to the coil cleaning, another important part is the allowable stress. Because the cooling tower is connected and it must be somewhere else, we should have these nozzles of the chillers with proper pressure rating. And that pressure rating can be as per your specification or design. Isolator again plays an important role. Let us look at these isolators and this isolator. If you use wrong isolator, this is what happens. And the purpose of putting the isolator is gone. Vibration bellows over here. The expansion bellows. This is the snubber which can be installed to avoid the toppling of the chillers. Important part again is some now the chiller capacities are going bigger and bigger. How do we take the compressors out? And that's why it is the installation of a crane arrangement so that it can be quickly lifted and taken for maintenance is another element which we look at and we look at the plant room layouts for the chillers the maintenance for cleanings is another system which is already available the automatic tube cleaning system which is there in front of you uh, there are various methods of doing that so quality is always the result of excellence work without compromise so with this i stop my presentation here i hope it has given some value you can follow me on youtube linkedin facebook I'll come up with certain more videos on these topics. Thank you very much for your patient.